Hey guys, it is literally 26 or 27 degrees here in England and I am sweating but I'm here to do a book haul and this is quite a large book haul because I've got my books from HarperCollins, I've got the books that I bought in a charity shop and I've got the books that I bought yesterday when I went book shopping in Leeds with Reading with Jack so it is actually quite a big book haul but I hope you enjoy it and if you do enjoy it please leave a comment saying which books you're reading this summer, which books you're reading now because I'm really interested to talk to a few people because I'm pretty much just talking to myself a lot of the time. So yeah, let me know what you're doing reading wise and let me know if you're participating in the book Tubathon because I am going to be doing that. So if you're doing that, let me know and let's get on with the book haul. So going in chronological order as to which books I got first, I have my pile of ARCs slash review copies from HarperCollins. And I basically got chosen to do this. I got messaged on Twitter saying, please give us your email so we can contact you about reviewing books and I was like really? really? okay I'll do it and then I actually asked one of the people in the children's section whether they needed anybody and I got redirected to the head of the department thing and she told me what to do so I am here with five books some of them are from Harper Fiction and some of them are from Harper Children's so I'm gonna try and do the kids ones first, then the teen ones, and then the adult ones, and I'm trying to get these in the right order. So the first book is a children's book, as I just said, and it is The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chenani, and this is brilliant. I've read this already, and I'm about to write my review of it, but honest to god, I loved it. It was literally after Icons, which is the next book, which was okay, but it wasn't the best, this blew my mind. It literally was the best thing I had read in a long time, apart from The Shadow of the Wind by Carla Therusafon. This is getting five stars from me because it's sort of a fairy tale retelling, but it's also telling a new fairy tale, so it's a bit of a mix. Um, you basically visit loads of different fairy tales, and there's loads of references, and it's just so good. So read it! Read it! Now, if you can. I know it's released in the States already, and I think it's over over here as well. Over over here? Out over here as well, so you should definitely pick it up! Okay, okay. So the second book, as I mentioned, is Icons by Margaret Stoll, and Margaret Stoll is the co-author of Beautiful Creatures, as it says on this shiny orange looking sticker, but it isn't a sticker, it doesn't come off, which... <sighs> but anyway, this was okay, I gave it 3 out of 5, because although I recognised some elements from various other stories, it still had an original plot and some original ideas, so I did really enjoy it. So I definitely recommend it, but I wouldn't say it's as good as The School for Good and Evil, because that is just... <sighs> there is nothing that can match that, that is completely unique, honestly. This is quite good, but that is like quite good if you get what I mean. The third one I have is Earth Star and this is by Janet Edwards and this is the sequel to Earth Girl so I haven't read Earth Girl so I'm thinking of picking that up to read before this but if it comes to worse I'll just jump in in the second book in a series and just see what I think because even though I haven't read the first book I assume I can read this on its own otherwise they wouldn't have sent me it because either that or they're trying to make me spend my money to they're making me try to spend my money, aren't they? They're trying to con me. Oh well. It doesn't matter. If it's a good book, it won't matter. And I'm gonna read this soon. I'm taking a break from Marks and I'm putting a different book in between just so I don't expect to review these. I don't want to have like a block of ARC reviews. Second to last ARC is Unbreakable by Elizabeth Norris and I think this is the second book in a series as well. I know there's a different one that came before and I think it's Unraveling as it says there. And I saw that yesterday when I went shopping, but I didn't buy it because I was too busy buying other things. But I am interested to read this, it is massive, it is the biggest one of all the books that I've got. Apart from The School for Good and Evil, it might be... Oh no, this one, I think this one's gonna be longer. Yeah, this one's longer, but it's only just. So, seeing as that was such a good read, I assume this will be as well. And if worse comes to worse, as I said, I'll have to buy the first book and then see what I think of this afterward. Which is... yeah. And the final book, which I think is an adult book, but I wouldn't be too sure, is The Arrivals by Melissa Maud. I think this is the one that comes out in August. I think this isn't going to be out for a while. But... I have heard of Melissa Maud because I think she wrote... what did she write? She wrote something. She wrote Wicked Lovely. And I haven't read that, but I've heard of it because of it, so I am interested to see what this thing is about because I haven't read anything by her, but she's supposed to be really good. 
The second lot of books I got, as I said, are from a charity shop, and it is St. Gemma's Hospice, which is just down my street, and I went in there looking for Doctor Who books, because my mum's boss said, there's a ton of them in there, and I went in, and I couldn't find a single Doctor Who book, and I felt really, really sad, but then, funnily enough, I came across what I thought she must have been meaning, because there were tons and tons of Torchwood books, and I saw them, and I was like, <gasps> must get and they were only 99p each they were supposed to be 199 because they're hardbacks but because they're only small ones the woman at the sale was like they're not worth 199 and just gave me them for 99p so then i went back and bought more stuff hence the second part of this second part if that makes sense so the torchwood books i bought are the twilight streets by gary russell trace memory by david llewellyn Something in the Water by Trevor Baxendale. Slow Decay by Andy Lane. Border Princes by Dan Abnett. And the final one is by that guy whose name I can't pronounce. Pack Animals by Peter Angahelides. I'm just going to say it like that for the rest of my life because it's just so much easier. Angahelides. Yeah. Since I had some more money after they said that I could have those cheaper, I went back and bought The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini because my future teacher, who isn't my teacher at the minute but will be next year because I sneaked my timetable, ha ha ha, he lent me A Thousand Splendid Sons and I've just started that, that's the book I'm reading in amongst my ARC slash review copies, and Khaled Hosseini is supposed to be a really really brilliant author and the book that I've heard the most about is The Kite Runner, so I thought this is 99p, let's just buy it, and I am excited to read this because I've heard so much good things about it. So many good things about it, if I want to be grammatically correct, but I'm not, not picky. And then the second book I got is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. And the reason I picked this up is because, one, I've heard so many good things about it again, and two, my friend recently did a play, he was one of the leading roles in it, and he did this, and he said it was a brilliant book, because obviously they had to read the book first, then read the script, and then start acting it out, but he said it was an absolutely fantastic book, and I am sure his performance was brilliant as well, he lives a bit far away for me to go and see it, but I'm sure it was fantastic, and he recommended this to me, so I got it. And I actually saw two copies and I picked the nicer one because that's just what I do. The final part of this haul is the stuff that I bought with Jack yesterday because I went shopping with him and that was really funny because I think they'd been waiting for me there for about an hour because the buses were absolutely terrible and I felt so guilty when I found them on the bench and I was like, I'm sorry! But anyway, we went shopping, we went to Waterstones, The Works, WH Smith and Game and I think we were going to go to HMV but I don't think we did in the end. But anyway, the first thing I bought isn't actually a book, but I wanted to show this anyway because one of you guys actually recommended it, and I don't know if he watches the videos, but whatever. I got these card things that are like lined cards, and Andrew from Heavy Shelves said that he uses these to write with, and the idea that you write different bits for different scenes on these things and then put them in an order and then you can just write them, I was like, that is the most fantastic thing I've ever heard. Because that means I can plan a novel in summer, and then throughout the year when I'm doing my other stuff and I have no idea what I'm doing, I can just look at these things and they tell me exactly what I need to write, and when, and where that scene goes. So, thank you, Andrew. If I ever do finish a novel, I will actually seriously dedicate the second one to you, because I think my family would be a bit, you know, sad if I didn't dedicate the first one to them. But maybe I'll sneak you underneath, like, secret friend guy who made me write this. So anyway, thank you, and I will be using these, and I'll probably need more. Oh well. <laughs> the second book is actually one that I wasn't sure if I already had, and you guys will know why if you've seen my bookshelf tour. I have Autonomy by Daniel Blythe, and I was trying to remember for ages if I could remember saying Daniel Blythe, and I decided that I didn't, and this was only 1 99 because it was in the clearance section of Waterstones, and when I got home it was such a rewarding feeling to see that I had one that I don't actually have. There's about five of these kind of books with David Tennant and all Chris Brackleston and stuff, and there's about five that I don't have, and I found one of them, I found one of them, and they don't even sell these anymore, not generally. So I don't know why it was in clearance, I'm kind of like looking at it oddly to see if there's something wrong with it, but I can see nothing wrong with it, literally. They could have sold me this for 6 99 and yet I got it for 1 99 so 
I am happy. I am happy that I have one more book to add to the massive Doctor Who collection. I also got this in the clearance. It is The Invincible Iron Man, Tales of the Golden Avenger, and I don't think this has a set author or artist or something on it, because it doesn't actually have anybody written on it. But if I find it and you want to know it, I will tell you. Um, it says collecting Iron Man Armored Avengers, Iron Man Iron Protocols, Marvel Avengers, Iron Man 1, Iron Man and blah blah blah. But it's by a bunch of people, so I'm not actually going to say all the names, but yeah, I got this, and I love Iron Man, I love the Avengers, I love all of those films, Marvel is so good, so good. And I saw this and I was like, oh my god! And I've never read any of the Iron Man comics, so I picked this up like, must have, it's 99p, it's mine. And I don't know why this was in clearance either. I'm kind of looking at them creepily, seeing what's wrong, but there isn't anything wrong, so... Maybe they were put there by mistake. Haha, <laughs> I found a bargain! Okay, I saved these last three books until last, because... I just... Honestly, you guys on Booktube have been saying so much about these three books to me for the past however long. They're so big on Booktube that I just thought I must save these until last. So the first book I have... <sighs> is Ready Player One, and this is by Ernest Klein, and I've heard so many good things about this book on Booktube. It's literally one of those books that everyone's talking about, everyone's reading, everyone's looking at, and I'm just gonna join in, just gonna join in. And Jack actually spotted this, and I'd been planning on buying, what was it? Legend by Marie Lu, and then I, he saw this, and I just snatched it out of his hand like, haha, I'm having this instead, and put legend back which was unfortunate but I didn't have enough money to buy both so yeah I am looking forward to reading this so much so much looks good the second book infuriates me but only slightly because of the sticker on the front it is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas and this has a hotter than the Hunger Games sticker on why do all of these books have stickers with that on it it's just d d there will be no new Hunger Games the Hunger Games is the Hunger Games it is fabulous, it is the best, and then you stick stickers on things, trying to take the glory, I ah! But anyway, Jack recommended this to me because he was slowly steering me towards books whilst we were in there. And this is one of his favourites from 2013, I think, and he said it was absolutely fantastic, so I was like, give it here then, I'll have it, I'll see what I think. And I have considered peeling the sticker off, to be honest, but I just haven't because... It kind of makes the cover look cool, even though it infuriates me. So yeah, I am interested to see what the hell this is about, and I hope that I will enjoy it. The final book is perhaps the one that I've saved to last, just because it's going to have the biggest reaction. And everyone, including Jesse from Jesse the Reader, has been on about this, and it is The Fifth Wave, and this is by Rick Yancey. I have no idea what this is about, but I definitely know that this is dystopian. And basically... I have seen this everywhere. Literally, I have been to every single channel and there is not one channel that I watch regularly that doesn't have this and I just picked it up because everyone's on about it, everyone says it's so so good and I've read a bunch of reviews and they're all really good and there's a couple that are bad but you know there's just people that won't like the book and the people that said it was really good are my kind of people and we like the same things so I assume this will be fantastic and I just really I'm interested to see what the hell it is about and the thing on the back reminds me a tiny bit of I am number four but only because of the numbers it's like the first wave the second wave instead of number one was killed in blah blah number two blah blah so anyway yeah I am looking forward to reading this well guys that's my book haul I hope you enjoyed it make sure to like and comment on the video with all the things I mentioned at the beginning and I will see you guys whenever. I'm actually going on holiday soon, so I probably won't have a few videos up in a while. But I might film a few and then put them up on schedule so you get them throughout that time that I'm gone. And if I do, you won't miss me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon, I guess. Just soon. No specific dates. Soon. Bye!